Well, the first of our medals has been awarded, the bronze, to Chen He Suan of Chinese Taipei in the women's compound. And now it's time for the best in the competition. And having enjoyed an all Chinese Taipei bronze medal match, we have an all Indian affair. We've had a great morning already in the under 21s and it looks like it's set to continue in the seniors. Jyoti Venom, 27 years old, ranked fourth in the world. And Parnit Kar, also with India, 18 years old, 13th in the world, couple of golds at the Asia Outdoor Championships this year. But up against Jyothi Venom, who progressed to this final with a 1-4-8 in her semi-final victory over Huang Yijon. This is the match that I've been looking forward to, personally. Both, obviously, this is the discipline that I shoot. Both these girls are absolutely incredible archers, and they're both so young. And they've both had such a great year outdoors, so it's good to see this going through to the indoor season as well. Ten. Ten, 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 perfect score. Seven. Nine. Oh, so close, so close. Well, I was going to say that these perfect starts seem to be contagious amongst the Indian archers, having seen a number of them in the under 21s. And sure enough, Jyothi Venom delivering 30 from 30. Pani like Kaur just going slightly so awry with her final the arrow on her opening end. Also first She'll and in our round of this take 29 from those three. Let's see how we go in our final but as we've already seen, plenty, plenty to go in this matchup with 12 more arrows apiece. The, uh, the guy in the stadium was saying these girls train together. You see them on their Instagrams all the time with each other. Obviously, you've got Verma in the background as one of the coaches, and you can see he's he's watching. He's watching both girls, and it's uh, it's nice to see that his teammates are in the goal in the gold medal match together. Ten. Ten. Nine. First nine for Yotti. Nine. Jofen. Long shot, near shot. Ten. Shifen.
我们等待法前的裁判进行分数的确认。从即时成绩上显示，第一把位的选手来自印度 ，Jody v e n a 这一趟射出二十九分，目前总分五十九分。So what happened there was you have people at the targets, your friends. They pull out your arrows for you. They make sure that you get the highest score possible. They make sure the judge comes over and checks if it's a ten or a nine. And they pull out your arrows for you. And then you have these these guys called runners, and they well, they don't actually run. They walk, but they walk your arrows back to you. So that you're ready for the next end. But it's all very slick and done so well. So people that haven't been in finals will uh, not even need to pull out their arrows. Heading into the third end, a point separating these two talented Indian women Venom leading court by the solitary point Nine. Nine. that shot went off a little bit too quick for Jyoti then Ten. 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 Much better finish for. Oh, there. Ten or nine, too close to call. Potentially, potentially, we've got things leveled up here at the end of the third end. If that is the case, we will have a tight score between the teammates in this gold medal match. Bit of investigation required. The magnifying glass is going to be brandished. Am I right, Lucy? Exactly. So the judges, they have their magnifying glasses. Sometimes they have a little flashlight just to, to check. They shine the torch and the, and the magnifying glass on the target to really make sure that they're judging correctly. And the girls will wait for their people at the target and the judge to tell them their score. Lucy, as a fine compound bow exponent yourself, like what are some of the the key tenets of being an accomplished archer with a compound bow? What are the things you're looking at from technique wise with these women that they are trying to get absolutely perfect? I think it's very difficult to say because everyone's technique is so different. Now you see here, Carl, she's got her thumb on a trigger. She's using a trigger release. Um, Venom, she's got a hinge release there, so she'll unclip it, and then it's all back tension. Um, so everyone, everyone shoots completely differently. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously these girls. They'll have similar techniques because they, they train in the same place and they have the same coaches. But, yeah, it's really diff it's difficult to say what makes a great archer. I think it's the time behind the boat. I mean, and I know these girls train like crazy. Hours and hours of archery. Ten. And they clearly train a lot together because they are chasing each other around the scoreboard. Unable to be separated at the moment. There is a, an inquiry as to one of the arrows as to the value, which might have an impact, but we could well be 
heading into this final end all square, which is just how we like it when it comes to building tension in these finals. A gold medal on the line here. Well, it looks like Yoti Venom might have just taken that. She will be thankful to her target friend and the judges. One point lead and three arrows to go for the gold medal. Ten. If you're gonna get tens, this is when you wanna this is when you wanna get them. Yes, ten. Yes, Oh, it's all tied. Carl needs a ten to stay in the game. Ten, 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 perfect score. Which she produces. How will Venom respond? Nine. Jovan. Oh. It looks like Parnit might have the goal. <laughs> we'll have to wait for our judges to confirm this, but it looks quite close. An incredible set of arrows in the final lands. The judges confirms that Parnit Core is our 2023 Taipei Archery Open champion. What an incredible final end that was. Pani Kaur going to the well, the well of perfection and producing three tens when she needed it the most.